Hi guys, this is Larissa with Be You Beautiful One. Welcome to my channel. I am setting up my Hobonichi weeks for the week of February the 3rd through the 9th. And I want to use one of the kits that I bought from an Etsy shop uh, in December, I believe. Um, I believe I did a haul on this one, but I'm not for sure. But here's a quick view of the sticker kits. And I got them on sale. So I'm really am excited about that. I got a variety of them. Some are still winter themed. That's okay because it's still winter. And I don't care if they are holiday themed because I love holiday themed and I will use it all year long if I can. Uh, and so those are all the stickers uh, that I got from there. The sticker kits from from this um, Plan and Go. Um, those were the Hobonichi kits. And I did some research on them and they're known to be very well cut and um, good as far as size portions are good. Um, I also got a freebie of the glitter washi strips. And then she gave me uh, like a little contact card, a sampler card, which is cute. And another sampler card of uh, social media. And then these are really cute. I didn't appreciate them when I ordered them, but because they were on sale, I went ahead and I got them. But these are little icon stickers for the weather, weather which will come very handy. And they are size appropriate for Hobonichi. And then these are the date covers. And I was like, oh, I'll just get a couple of those because, you know, they were only like 75 cents. But it's great to put the dates like right here next to the days of the week. So I thought that was cool. So that was a quick view. Just in case I didn't put up um, a haul video, which I'm for sure I did, but I just can't remember. Okay, so it's been really cold, like super, super cold all weekend. And so I'm just in a mode of doing um, spreads that represent the code. And this has a little bit of a holiday theme behind it. There's like the decorative tree, some snowflakes and so forth. But I like it, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> and so I've been watching um, different videos on how to use these kits. So this is my first time using an actual kit. In my Hobonichi, I've been freestyling um, up until now. So I'm excited to get started. So let's get started. So what I really love about these kits, it, it really takes out the, the messy work of perfect measurement and, and so forth. <laughs> um... You know, Hobonichi Weeks is a, a unique layout within its own. So, but I really like it. Um, it's just covering up all of the um, the script writing um, because it's mainly not useful to me because I don't know what it says. <laughs> um, and so sometimes covering that up is, is really important. Um, depending on the layout, sometimes it doesn't even bother the layout because of the way you're laying your stickers and you're washing, it's going to cover it up anyways. But it's really helpful to have that already pre-measured um, just to go ahead and get it out of the way and, and be done with it. So I really like that. And then, like I said, uh, this particular box here, it looks like a, a movie roll. Uh, movie film role to me um, I've never used that before so that's new and I probably will use that like to highlight emojis uh, like how my day went or if I want to like record my steps and um, 
or how many squats I did for the day because those are big ones for me the sheer squats steps sit-ups and water intake if I don't do anything else those are key items so um or like highlight words of the day or something like that so i like that movie round real okay and then i like the date covers they work great so if i order more stickers from this shop i'll make for sure that i order some more date covers they fit perfect um and i thought it was cool how that that strip of boxes line directly up with the days of the week so that's cool too and at this point i thought it would be awesome for me to include some additional decorative stickers i love that quote i have the power to change my story and she's cozy and cute in her outfit so yeah i think i'll go ahead and use some of these and so again that particular Quote says, I have the power to change my story, um, not my past, but I can help order my future a lot better, position my future a lot better than what it is right now. And it's funny, I decided to use that swimsuit um, big hair doll because, you know, the goal in mind is to have a healthier me and not necessarily that I have to fit in a swimsuit, but that indicates that I need to get started now and not wait till the last minute to work on my health. And then I try to alternate the size of the stickers uh, for a little bit of balance. So I have that nail sticker on Friday and Saturday because I don't know which day I'm going to do that on, but I love doing my own nails. So I thought that would be cute to put that there. And then we have the planner meet, meet up, uh, which works along with um, Get Your Goal on, on Sundays, uh, my accountability group. And I love the task list. Um, <laughs> I had to count and see how many I actually had. And there are seven. That's, uh, but you know, when you use the sticker books from the Happy Planner um, line, they only give you like six task lists within a collection. And that just blows my mind. So I don't know. And then I uh, put that. Um, big hair doll on the opposite side of the page she has on her sweater and pink jacket boots and stuff I thought that would be cute over there I'm trying to add some more decorative stickers I thought it would be cute like to put some at the top of the test list since I have them on opposite sides but it just didn't work out that way so I decided to put the little house on the quote sheet on the quote sticker and then the florals on the quote sticker too and I thought that looked cute an additional floral at the bottom of the right hand page and these bows are so cute and dainty so I'm not for sure what to really do with them but I thought they would be cute across the the lines of the days and so those are cute I like those and then there's some additional decorative stickers on there but um I'm going to forgo those right now. All right, guys. I like it. So this was my first kit by Plan and Go. And overall, I really like it. I think it's just me learning um, how to use the kit and how to lay it out on um within the Hobonichi. Um, I probably will follow like the basic layout of the sticker kits for a couple of weeks. And then I'll try to find my own niche in using them. But I really like using a kit. It takes out a little bit of the fuss. So I enjoyed that. And so here's a look at what I put down. Again, I want to make for sure I remember to get fit, um, not just for physical, but um, overall health. And then I like this little casual um, yet cozy sticker. And then I love doing my nails. And so I plan on doing that either Friday or Saturday. That's why I sort of got it in between there. And then again, this um, 
denotes the meetup that we will be doing online uh, for our Get Your Goal On group. And then I thought that this is really cute right here. She has on her scarf and her jacket and her boots. I was trying to use as much of the stickers on the sticker kit itself because I just, I can't stand not using all my stickers because I may not come back to them. So yeah, so that's one reason why I put some stickers around the coat quote, which I really like. I have the power to change my story. I think it made it very um, dainty and cute. So I have plenty of room uh, to write on. I can even take one of my um, HP sprocket pictures and put it right here if I want to. Um, or put a post-it notes, all the post-it notes that I have. I could, you know, use it in here as well. So I'm excited to see what happens with this layout and how it will turn out with pen to paper. Um, I totally love it. So again, my Hobonichi is uh, one that could simply fit in my purse. And I have a uh, Erin Condren life planner that I use as my overall big picture planner. And then I have my petite folio, which is a daily planner. So I have a page per day. And with that, I break down like the details of what I need to do to accomplish the things that I have in my Erin life condren planner. And also it's a check against my goals that I have set for myself too and then this is like something I could just review uh highlights like um Larissa you have a doctor's appointment or Larissa you gotta go to a dentist or Larissa you're gonna get uh Ollie for the weekend um or you have to pick up something for the family or something like that it's just very basic information um, that I can have on the go with me to remind me of things that I need to do. And maybe I don't want to take my full out um, petite folio with me or whatever. So if I'm sitting in a doctor's office, I could flip through the pages and say, yeah, I can come this day. No problem at all because I don't have any other major things going on that day so that's how I am using this planner so all of them work in alignment with each other as well and then I can like I said I can put like a sticky note over here or just jot down some notes um, that I would like to make note of <laughs> so anyways I hope you enjoyed this spread thank you so much for joining me let me know what you think um, do you like using kits in your planners and what kits do you use? Share the link so that we can check out the link and purchase from your favorite shops as well. Thank you for joining me. Please go ahead and like, subscribe and turn on your notification bells. And until the next time, see you later. Bye.